Assalamu alaikum guys, it's me Nasmus here, and this is my Xbox 360. And this is an unboxing of the Xbox 360 Wireless Speed Wheel. Yes, that's what it's called. I'm very excited for this. Um, I got this because of a drawing that ha uh, that was uh, uh, done by um, Observe Tech Podcast's Rich Hay. Um, he runs Observe Tech. Uh, WindowsObserver.com, and he, and he did a, in his podcast. He did a quick uh, competition uh, that allowed his Twitter followers to join in, and he would randomly um, randomly drew a name out, and I was selected. And I'm very grateful for him and the Lord for giving me the opportunity to get me this awesome baby right here. Um, this is a wireless speed wheel. This is designed for racing games, including my favorite franchise, Need for Speed. Um, I have Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, and um, I will try to see how it works with that. So let's see, we're going to go, let's go straight to the unboxing, inshallah, God willing, and see how it goes. Now this box, uh, ooh, I opened it a little earlier, then I decided to put it back. I actually didn't take anything out. Um, I just had to stop opening in the middle and, um, what do you call it, just do an unboxing video. So that's awesome. If I could close it back again, but yeah. So here, here's some basic information here. It says, take the wheel for easy motion, control racing, contents, wireless speed wheel, two AA batteries, and a software disk. Well, I might have to install a manual driver thing with the Xbox. Let's see. So, feel the freedom of grab and go steering with vibration feedback and glowing green halo light visuals. Interesting. So let's see how this works. Let's see what's inside. What I could see is the I could see that AA battery here, and I could see the wheel. I don't see, however, the disc. So let's see if we can find it. So let's open this. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, which is the Lord, most gracious and the most merciful. Now here is the awesome transparent plastic cover. So let me put this camera down here so you guys could see the awesomeness. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm doing it upside down, so I'm gonna flip it around. Let's see what we'll take it out gently. Uh, Go. There. This right here is a speed wheel, and we could take this out from the bottom. It's nice white plastic that comes off. And there's our speed wheel. There's the four keys that are similar to the to that of an Xbox 360 controller. I'll have to say, I love the Xbox 360 controller, alhamdulillah. It is very solid, it feels nice in the hand, and the wheel is all, does also feel solid. It's awesome, I'm excited to try it out. There's the Xbox home button. I'm assuming it's gonna glow like the 360 controller does. And um, here are the batteries. One, and two. Here is some instruction guides and safety information. Xbox 360. I don't see the software disk. Oh, there it is. Ah. Install software first. It says insert disk, follow instruction on screen, and remove disk. We'll see what happens. So let's do that. I'm gonna try that. By the way, I don't use disk on my Xbox 360 except to watch a DVD. All my games, alhamdulillah, are on uh, on demand. So, I have a 250 gig hard drive on the Xbox 360, and every single game I own, every one, not a single one is on disc. Every one, every one of them is on the hard drive. So, let's turn the controller on and I want to try installing the software with you guys. Let's see. So. But here, here's my game collection. Every single one of them right here are my game collection. 
are installed on the hard drive. I don't like the cons. I mean, I I enjoy having being able to um, just run the game without ha finding a disc and putting in the tray. I also like to. I also yeah. I, I like digital content. So, but for this, I uh, guess I have to use a physical media, which I'm fine with it. Alhamdulillah. Nice disc has the Xbox logo on it. Wireless speed wheel software. Wireless speed wheel software disc. Install this disc before using the product. Actually, they meant to say install this software that's in the disc, not the install the disc itself. But yeah, you open the tray. I have the Xbox 360, this S version. This is the generation before the current version, which is a more, uh, has a look closer to that of Xbox One. But this, I, I like it. Alhamdulillah, I'm grateful for having this Xbox. Anyway, let's see what happens. Let's see if something pops up my, by itself or... Do I have to, um, oh, that something has happened by itself. Your console is up to date. Update is complete. Does anything happen? Well, maybe I have, well, it seems that the latest update in my console, uh, <laughs> includes the software for the 360 wireless wheel, so I guess the power of the internet has downloaded the bits. I am in the beta program that does the... well basically this is NDA so I can't technically tell you what's in the beta so... but suffice to say you guys will get the final version very soon so you're not missing much. So anyway let's see let's put the batteries in there and see what happens. This is the wireless speed wheel looks very nice looks fun to drive feels nice in the hand solid just like the Xbox 360 controller has these buttons as you see in the Xbox 360 controller right here as Xbox 360 controller is one of my favorite controllers feels nice in the hand like the wheel it's very solid it has these buttons then the d-pad this one you turn the wheel to uh, turn the car there's the acceleration and there's the brake and there's the d-pad and there's these other buttons to use the power ups in your car so it's very cool and there's the main circle xbox home button I'm assuming it's gonna glow like this so let's get started I discovered while well, trying to put in the batteries that the way you do this is there's a nice small button here as you can see this um, black button right here and it'll pop open this um, right this black door here so I'm gonna watch as I do this there we go and comes off and you can put the batteries in there hey guys so I'm gonna come back again uh, okay guys it's I'm back again and with I just put the keyboard in and started up the wheel and connected it to the console let's see what happens uh, I was surprised I was baffled when I started because those two handles glow and that's what they meant by the halo light effect but yeah it's very nice I connected it by using the small connect button on the bottom right here right here right there and a connect button on the console which you can't see but it's on the USB above the USB right here so now I should be able to use the d-pad of this wheel to um, yep to um, control my console now let's see if I can launch Need for Speed and see what he can do. This is not a review. I'm just gonna do a first, like you know, first, first run. That's basically. So let's see. There's my games. I know you can't. It's hard to see, but I'll do what I can. Let's see. Need for Speed. Need for Speed. Right here. Um, need for Speed. Hot Pursuit. Okay. Here we go. There's the acceleration. There's the brakes on that one. So I could apparently move the wheel. Um, 
uh, to navigate the menu and and uh, what do you call it and start the game let's see what you get okay guys so it's loading so I'm uh, because I'm using my other hand to record I'll not be able to use both hands to uh, use the uh, wheel so I'll not be able to use this brake here but it's fine I'm not gonna play that long this is just a quick overview let's get started and see how it works I'm sorry this is the screen itself doesn't look that good on camera but that's fine let's get started let's see how it responds as I, remember, I'm playing this with one hand, so it'll be more easier to control with two hands, so... Yeah, very nice, very, very responsible, very responsive. Whoa, I'm trying to record and see the screen at the same time. So, forgive my uh, horrible driving skills, but um, if, if you're, as you can see, if, if you're fully focused on driving and... Yeah, you're using both hands, and you're not trying to record at the same time. You could, it's pretty fun, and it's awesome that I could, uh, I can't imagine you use, playing this game with one hand with a controller, so this is pretty good. Very responsive. Again, excuse my horrible driving skills, because I'm mul trying to multitask, even though I'm doing it horribly, but that's the best I can do. Yikes! Okay, I didn't crash on this one. That's very good. Yeah, I'm not going to win this race, but it's still, um, alhamdulillah, all praise to God. And thank you so much to Richard Hay from WindowsObserver.com for sending me this. I'm very grateful. Uh, please check him out at WindowsObserver.com. He does great. Uh, he's a Microsoft MVP, most valued professional. He does lots of great posts and tips and news on Microsoft and up related technologies. He's a technology enthusiast as well, so he does talk about other stuff um, related to technology, uh, from Apple, Google, to uh, other things that happen on the internet. Uh, but he also has a podcast called Observe Tech Podcast. Uh, you can find the latest podcast on Observe Tech. You can subscribe to his podcast, Yikes, on iTunes and Zune a Marketplace. Uh, so guys, thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Again, don't waste time watching YouTube videos. But uh, thank you for watching, though, on this one. Uh, appreciate it. Check out our more uh, technology and gaming coverage at mckakins.com. This is where I and my friend Danny, uh, Danny, uh, does cool Microsoft stories, um, news, and tips and tutorials. And I'm, I will be uploading this to mckakins as well. So do subscribe to me on YouTube if you like what I'm doing. Uh, like and thumbs up. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, do leave do leave a uh, comment below. And again, do check out WindowsObserver.com. Rich Hay is awesome, and I'm very grateful that he gave me this. So thank you guys. Have a great day.